Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I have been out and exploring a bit, and I have picked up some hard drives. I think I picked up five, and I have researched uh, one and opened it, and we're going to open this one now. So, what do we have? We have quick wire alternate. That's actually quite nice. That is actually very nice. I think we're gonna get that. This one isn't half bad either. This one we're not getting. So let's get the alternate for quick wire. And we'll stick another hard drive in there and begin analyzing that. So quite a lot has happened in between uh, episodes. I have unlocked a few things. So there's an alternate for iron ingots. Uh, okay. And we have the yellow shards. Let's see, what, what have I unlocked? I have unlocked... Uh, I've unlocked the... Um, go back here. I've unlocked the Logistics Mark 3, which is very nice. And also I've unlocked some alternate recipes. We can unlock medical inhalers now, or from alien organs, which is really nice. And I want to do that relatively soon, I think. We can also unlock the Explorer, which I also want to do relatively soon because the Explorer is cool and it's fun. Oh, there's silica. Was it was that in there before? I don't think it was. Hmm. Okay. And then we have some alternates for rotors and heavy modular frames and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been pretty busy. Also, I have been building just a little bit, a tiny little bit over here and you have a whole new factory building with three floors on it so if we run up here and take a look we have a floor here which is nice and big and not quite square but but it's a, it's a nice big room where we can uh, build a lot of stuff and up top we come up here. We have another room. Another nice big room to build on. And we can even come up here. And we have another floor up here with, with no walls yet. But I think it will have because I don't think the, uh, the big flying thing uh, lies in over this. So that would be pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright. So, what are we going to do today? That's actually a really good question. Uh, I think I want to set up beam production. Because we've unlocked the tier 3, right? Uh, conveyors. And I would like to use those, I think. Yeah. I think that would be a good idea. I think that would be a good idea. Let's... Um, Let's just build so we can get up top. Uh, organization, I think it is. No. Logistics. No. Foundations. No. Walls. No. Oh, there they are. Logistics. Put one of those in there. And we'll put a... I think we'll put a corner in here. And then we'll go up. Yeah. And just put the ramp on nine. And come up here. This is gonna be a bit problematic, maybe. There and. Then come around again. And 
do we get up now? No, I don't think we do. Do we? No, we don't. Darn it. Corner. Just the corner that way. I might want to change this off a bit at some point, but for now, it'll work. So we can get up here to our steel production. We do have a bunch of steel ingots. And where are we going to make our steel beams? I think we're going to make them on the top floor over here. Maybe even go down to the bottom floor. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go down to the bottom floor and make steel beams. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Hmm. That's a very good question. Very good question. Yeah, I don't really know how we're going to do that. Um, I'm thinking that we'll put a... lift here somewhere. And take it down. And then take it over somehow so let's uh, let's try it let's come out here actually let's come out here and I do want a wall at least for now so Come down the middle. That. Oh, that's not straight. So ever. Uh, let's see. Ah. Come on. I think like this maybe. That's straight. No, not even close. That one. That's straight. All right. And put a foundation here. We can only go down so far. We can't actually really go down right here. So. Let's, instead of doing this, let's come down over here, somewhere, up there, guess here, if we come down, hmm, this is not where we want to come down for sure. You know what? I'm going to tear this out again. It's, it's going to be in the way right there. So it's not going to be there. So let's tear that out. And we're going to do it right here. And that means that we can tear this out again. And we need to go to. And let's come over here. And over here. And in there. Okay. That means that now we can jump down here we can put this in. So let's put in a conveyor lift. And how far down do we want it? I guess something like that. Um, this is just to be able to measure 
the height. There. And we can stick a regular wall in there again. Okay. So now we have it down that far at least. And where do we want to do this? I suppose we could do it here. But then again, no. I don't really want to do that. I want... I think I want to go down to the bottom floor and make the steel beams. Yeah. I want to make steel beams down here. So what we're going to do... is come around here I think and go down or maybe come over to there yeah come over to here and go down I like that idea so what I want to do is put some of these things in and I want to put one of those in there as well Yes. And come out there. And then actually this needs to be one up. So we put that in there. And then we'll put the regular wall back. And that is going to be absolutely awful, isn't it? Yeah. It is. So what we can do to make it a little bit better is put one of these. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Uh, I guess we can put some conveyor pole stackables like this, just for now. And have this come over here. Come on. And have that come over there. And then we can take those out again. Looks a little bit weird, but it is what it is. Then let's run down here and let's see. Tear out there. Tear out there and stick in these perpendicular things. And get the belt moving that way. Is yeah, that's a bit too far. So I want it to oh man, those trees are annoying. Let's uh, take them out, shall we? Come on. Okay. We'll take that out of our hand again because that is noisy. So I want it to come in. Guess here. Yeah. I think I want it to come in there. So if we look, then. Actually, this might be just right. Only this needs to be a two. So if we then put in a thing here, actually, let's put in some foundations over here just for now. this and I guess we'll put in a foundation there jump up here and put in the conveyor lift like so and get it going over there 
that look? Looks okay-ish. Not quite straight, is it? Does it need to be a... I guess it needs to be a three. Let's try that. Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. Okay. And we can tear this out again. And let's get inside. Where do we do that? Over here. And even remember my own base. And get in here. Okay. So now we have steel there. Outstanding. And if we take a look at some constructors and put the constructor on let's put it on eight and we want splitters on six and mergers on seven and that should do it so let's see constructor we put a constructor here Will we then have room? And let's just tell it, tell it to make steel beams. And that takes 30 per minute, which means that we need 15 machines. 15 constructors. But before we set all that up, let's just make sure that we actually have room for everything we need. So I think what I want to do is I want to bring this down to ground level and then I want splitter and I want it right there, which means that the constructor can come a lot closer, which is nice. Give a bit of space and actually come that close. And that's what we're gonna do. And there, we'll figure it. We do need power over here as well. So we'll get that soon, but first let's stick in one, two, three. One. Oh, lag. Or how many can we fit here? Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. But that means that we can actually stick them on the other side and just do eight there, and that would be 15. That'll work. That does mean that we need to split this off somehow, or we could just let it go down and come around. Yeah, that's going to be easier. That's going to be easier, so that'll work. Let's put in some mergers. And the mergers, they can be... Actually, I think I want the output bit. I want the output raised. Yeah, I do. So let's just stick in a conveyor pull here and a conveyor pull here. some belt. This is gonna be too close, isn't it? Where is it? Hmm. Yeah, that's way too close. That is way too close. 
think we need to move them out twice, actually. So, if we move them out here. And take another one in here. And some belt. And a merger. There. That should do it. That does it. That does it. Okay. Which means that we now need to... Uh, let's just... I know that this is the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. I just want to see the distance. So... I guess it's there. And... Like so. Right? And that means that we can take these out, and this doesn't need to be there. And we can just stick the air pole under here. Come on. And hold that up. Alright. That's the way we're going to do it. That is the way we're going to do it. Okay. Let's stick in the rest of the machines. And we just need to go one further than the last one, or the other line, like that. And there we go, 15 machines for steel beams. All right, I'm going to finish up this uh, construction, and then I will be right back in a second okay everything is set up we have ingots running all the way and going into the machines almost everything is set up because i forgot again to configure the machines so let's just do that real quick oops there almost Almost is a strong word, but we're getting there. We are getting there. And you. And there's just six more to go, I think. Go there. There. Come on. There. There. And this one. Come on. And I think the first one is already done. Yeah. Okay. So the machines are configured. Everything is hooked up. We have an input and we have an output line up there. And all we need to do is hook up some power, which I will do over there. There we go. And off they go. Very good. And it's going up and it is coming out. Outstanding. Outstanding. And is everything going? It looks like it. It looks like it. So yeah, I am pretty happy about this. Are you? You only have two, but that makes sense. Whoops. It's a little bit too low to jump here. You have to watch your head. Okay, and we have steel beams up there, which is not a very useful place for them. So we need to get them into a box somewhere 
And I was thinking... I, I don't know where I want to put my central storage yet. I, I just have no idea. Um, I really don't. And it's a little bit frustrating. Because I would like, of course, to get all our stuff stored centrally so that there's one place to go and get everything instead of having to run around the whole base and gathering it from here and there. But I think... I was thinking maybe to do it on part of this floor. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So maybe do like three lines of this floor or three tiles of this floor. Foundations, it's called, of this floor. Wall those off and that make that our uh, storage area. Something that we could at least do for now. You know what? Let's make that our storage area for now. For the steel beams. So let's put down a storage container here. We can't afford a storage container. That's embarrassing. And. That means that we need to go grab some steel pipes. Which we, or steel rods. Iron rods. Iron rods. Which we have over here in these guys. So let's just grab a couple of stacks. This one. Let's grab four stacks or something. And the... Okay with that, there we go. And that means that we can go and build our storage container and get, uh, actually let's um, find where the output should be. So if we make a hole in the wall over here, Actually, let's, before we do that, let's close up these two walls, because it looks silly. So, like so, and then it's this one, and I want that. And this isn't going to be entirely straight, but it's okay. That little bit is okay that it's not straight. Okay, let's get back upstairs and make our little storage area. Here. And come up here. And let's see if we can see where the wall thing is. I guess it's number three or four foundation here. Three. So it's, let's put in a wall conveyor there then, and a foundation here so we can see what we're doing. And then we need a bear lift, come up here, and we need our, we could make an industrial storage if we had steel pipes. I think I'd prefer that. Let's do this for now. Is that lined up? Hard to see. It just needs to be in the middle of the platform, right? So if we put that there. And then stick that in there. And now we have steel beams being produced. Very nice. Which means that we can get our production going much, much, much faster. Because, let's just grab a few here. For kicks. And have a look. 
logistics. Our new Mark III conveyor belts can do 270 resources per minute instead of 60. So yeah, that's a bit better, I'd say. A bit better. Outstanding. And we are getting them stored up here. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. So that's that done. And I think the next thing that we'll do is set up frames and uh, rotors to be made over... Yeah, I think maybe down on the middle floor. We'll set those up. And then we'll get pipes going. And yeah, we're getting pretty well underway here. We're well underway. Okay, good, good, good. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe? And I'll see you next time.